Now I've just done a full um, voiceover video with Millie and I, the reason I didn't let the camera roll, carry on rolling is because I did 14 minutes or just under and it'll take me forever to upload that. So I thought I'll just do another video of her on the road and just continue, you know. There's a lot of people for different reasons can't view horses at the moment. So I think these videos, these sort of almost live uh, videos, because obviously I can't save the live videos to my phone or upload them onto YouTube or Instagram or anything else like that. So it's better to do it this way. Um, totally unedited guys, because I do let the camera roll. And this is almost like your virtual viewing. Um, which is what I try the, what I try to achieve with all our um, videos really um, sometimes the horses get snapped up before I finish them all but we very often try to get all the um, handling and riding so it does act as I say is a virtual viewing so we're obviously as you can see on the road now and as I was saying it's very dark and damp through here and I'm still hacking on the same rain as I have done. I haven't had to, I could do with shortening my reins actually but um, I'll just let you see that how good she is and she's non-reactive and you know these this traffic that's coming past you've got your lights on, you've got your window wipers on, the spray coming up off the roads. I mean how many of you your horses have jumped at the window wipers because I know mine have. <laughs> There's lots of hazards when it's raining and traffic are coming past and she's not bothered at all. Her ears pricked up then there she's having a little look at the sheep in the fields. I said you know that's her when I say she's a little, she's not spooky but she's a bit nosy that that would be just the example of what I mean there you know I don't know if you call it nosy or um, oh <laughs> you frightened the sheep I don't know how much the sheep were in the camera then guys but they just all literally turned and ran and when she neighed you know she's she's neighed a couple of times that is more than to be expected hacking alone I mean it is just a couple of times she might start to neigh a little bit more as we get closer to home because the other horses will start neighing as they do especially because it's sort of feed time and Kyle will be going around feeding But um, as I was saying on the other video, when you want to go out for a hack, you want to enjoy that hack. You know, I, I was sort of in my own world hacking out and thought to myself, you know I, know, I know I'm experienced and I know I'm a confident rider and all the rest of it. But, you know, I am a human being as well. Guys, I've got all the same instincts as the rest of you. And I've just popped on and come out alone. And, and I, you know, I feel no different than I would be feeling if I was stood on the floor, you know, absolutely no apprehension whatsoever, none. And, you know, I'm sure that goes through to the horses. It's got to, um, regardless of your riding ability, you know, horses, when you're hacking alone, do need to feel confidence from the amount of people that come to me and say, you know, oh, I want a horse to give me confidence. Well, no. You have to give your horse confidence in order for your horse to then be able to give you confidence. It has to be that way. Oh, have we got, um, let me just try and clean my camera. Guys, I think I've got a spot of um, water. Just bear with me. That better? Yeah. I don't know how long it was like that for. I don't know, just look down at the um at the camera for those of you who could see my equi i was wearing the equi gems they are an essential item guys especially when it's in this weather because you know what i've been rained on all day and i don't even feel wet and the cool in the summer the warm in the winter faultless I wouldn't wear anything else so just going back to Millie, um, I have done the long video, so this is just really covering what we did, but I'm trying to, uh, what we've already done, I'm trying to just leave the camera rolling so you can um, sort of have a virtual viewing, really. 
so many times people do view horses and view them in the arena which i've had i've got videos of her in the arena actually but they they do that and you know they they quite often miss out this part of uh the the viewing process really and how a horse feels when out hacking now i appreciate you're not on top of it so you don't know how she feels but i'm sure that you're getting a good idea from this video you know you can pick up a horse's reactions and change of pace and all that sort of stuff it'd be very good we'll have a little trot and show you that come mills There we go. So she really has got a horse pace, guys. She's not she's not got um a pony stride at all. You do not feel like you're riding a pony, guys. You do feel like you're riding a little horse. And a beautiful one at that. But look guys, here's my reins. But you know at the same time she's going, I'm not I'm not having to obviously you can't see my feet, but look there you go, I'm gonna shove them out. You can see that I'm not kicking. She's just taking me. There you go. And if I ask her, whoa, whoa. Lovely horse. Really, really, really nice horse, guys. Don't let this one slip. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.